Morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. This is a little bit late to be posted. Uh, I didn't come up to the school yesterday because of the snow. And then, I don't know, I guess I don't really have any more good excuses after that. But anyway, nice to see you all um, on this Wednesday. <clears throat> a couple of things I want to do today. One is to uh, review lesson three, uh, which talked about the uh, beginnings and the, er and the causes of the War of 1812. Um, and then we'll talk about uh, lesson four, which I posted uh, along with this video. Uh, first of all, lesson three, uh, I was pleasantly surprised with how well people did on the somebody wanted but so summaries. Um, a lot of people targeting the Embargo Act of 1807, which I think made a lot of sense. Um, you know, probably uh, not the wisest decision of Thomas Jefferson's administration, right? You're having trade issues with France and England, so then you decide to shut off all trade uh, around the world. Um, so a lot of the, the merchants and farmers in America were upset because so many of the people who they sold their goods to um, were, were in foreign markets, especially places like England and France. Um, sort of interesting how they talked about um, the cure being worse than the problem, and that's actually something that's coming up a little bit um, as some of the uh, the governmental leaders talk about the uh, the, the coronavirus. Um, the uh, lieutenant governor of uh, Texas kind of mimic that as well. So I'm not really making judgments one way or the other, but um, you know they say that history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes, and you're certainly hearing some of that. Um, but anyway, um, on to the other one. Uh, good to mention the name Tecumseh. Uh, I, maybe you weren't sure quite how to say that, the Shawnee chief, um, the, the idea that he tried to build tribal unity, um, you know, saw that um, the American government was not treating the Native Americans fairly, especially after, you know, the Battle of Fallen Timbers and some of the treaties that were signed. Um, so he ended up trying to make an alliance with the, uh, with the British in, um, in uh, British Canada. Um, the reasons for war, I thought that kind of towards the end where you got out of the somebody wanted but so those were a little bit weak. Um, I think some people just sort of guessing and, and lumping some things into the American Revolution, which yes, it's true. We did talk about the American Revolution, obviously the British, uh, but don't forget that was, you know, the final battle of the American Revolution at Yorktown was 1781 and we're in 1812. So there's been a generation or two uh, or a generation and a half since that since that took place. Um, but things like impressment, the kidnapping of American soldiers, that should be mentioned. Um, the idea that the British were willing to unite with the Native Americans that was seen as a hostile act. Um, interference with shipping. Uh, you had the conflict between the Leopard and the Chesapeake off the coast of Virginia, uh, where three Americans died. Um, so I think all of those would be reasons, you know, if on the summit, if I asked you what were some causes of the war, um, those would be worth highlighting. Uh, everybody who turned it in uh, by eight o'clock last night, I was able to uh, give you some feedback. Um, so anyway, that's lesson three, talking about the causes. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, with lesson four, uh, that's what you're going to take a look at today and, and the early part of tomorrow. Uh, we get into uh, the first phase and you'll see why it's called the first phase. Um, and both sides, the British and the, and the Americans, not really prepared for war. Uh, the British were already engaged in uh, another war that was going on and, and the Americans, they really weren't prepared. Uh, they had a limited Navy, they had a limited unexperienced, inexperienced army. Um, so they had some issues, but uh, onward the war went. Um, Tecumseh will be brought up again um, with a guy named William Henry Harrison. Uh, William Henry Harrison, uh, one of the names that was mentioned in the uh, the uh, beginnings and the causes was Tippecanoe. Uh, and that actually became a political slogan for William Henry Harrison. It was Tippecanoe and Tyler too. Uh, William Henry Harrison was our ninth president, but he was the one, if those of you who know a little bit about this, he was only president for a month. He caught pneumonia while giving a very long inaugural address. Uh, and the Tippecanoe and Tyler, uh, John Tyler was actually his vice president who ended up becoming the 10th president because once William Henry Harrison died, um, John Tyler took over. Uh, but those are um, <clears throat> names are not super fam uh, super well known when it comes to our presidential history. Um, anyway, um, the, the couple questions there, pretty, uh, pretty basic, uh, but there is a crossword puzzle. Ooh, there it is. Um, that's there. So obviously I'm not going to go to everyone's house and deliver a paper crossword puzzle, but I did find a website that enabled you to type in the answers. Uh, and if they're correct, the letters turn green. 
Um, so that'll help us review some of the vocabulary words from lesson three and lesson four. Um, once you complete it, I would ask that you <clears throat> take a screenshot of it and then you can uh, include it, I think, on the bottom of page three or whatever the uh, uh, whatever the last page of the Google Doc is. So hopefully you have good luck with that. Uh, if not, send me an email. Uh, but like I said, complete it. If it's correct, it'll turn green. Uh, do your best on it. Um, and I will see everybody later. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I anticipate the snow will be melting quite quickly. Um, I had fun playing with my kids in the yard yesterday and uh, it was sort of one of those odd things where by the end of the afternoon, it was uh, it felt like T-shirt weather, although there was six inches of snow on the ground. Um, but anyway, hopefully your uh, powers are back and um, and uh, you help shovel and, and do all those things. Um, I had an unfortunate incident. I see all these videos with kids building, uh, parents building snow snowmen with their kids. Uh, as soon as I build one, uh, my son just knocks it down. So I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, good luck, keep emailing me with questions and um, be good.